Hi everyone, it's Danny. So here we have an absolutely beautiful, beautiful orchid, which is named Odontoglossum or Oncostelli Geyser Gold. Now, um, in the old um, literature, you will find it as Odontoglossum, but it got renamed, like most of the orchids these days get renamed, and it's now an Oncostelli. Now, this orchid is a hybrid or a cross uh, between a Oncostelli or a Odontoglossum. Annalise Rottenberg, hopefully I pronounced it correctly, and Oncidium Parade, actually. And, uh, yeah, anyway, I have the names in the description in case I didn't pronounce them correctly, so you can check that out. Now, it is a registered hybrid, and I have to admit, it's pretty, pretty rare. Now, I had the fortune of finding this one at the grocery shop for some reason. I knew it from before, I just didn't imagine I could find it, but here it is. So, yeah, I think you're, you won't be able to find this so easy, but probably at online stores or in orchid nurseries you will find it. Now, the cute thing about this orchid is the absolute gorgeous yellow gold it has. And hopefully I'm getting this on camera. As far as I can see, it really doesn't do it justice. Um, now, on the flower you will see a sort of a pattern, which is really more visible in real life and um, yet yeah, seems to have a very uh, pale yellow stripes or dots on um, you know a solid color of orangey gold yellow color anyway it's really really beautiful and uh, I'm absolutely loving this even though it's not a fragrant orchid probably it has that plasticky smell that odontoglossums usually have but other than that it's a shame it doesn't have a smell but just look at those flowers really beautiful now being an odontoglossum it really likes humidity i wouldn't keep it soggy like i just purchased this one i really wouldn't keep it soggy i would keep it moist and um, when you see that the medium is almost dry it's still slightly moist but almost dry Give it a water and you'll avoid wrinkled leaves and curly flower spikes and so on. So, okay, this is actually a recent purchase. I'm really happy I got it and I really couldn't wait to show, to show it to you. So, okay, if you want this orchid, now you know the name. It's really a beautiful orchid to have. Flowers are not super tiny. They're a decent size. So, okay, thank you for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed this beautiful orchid. And hopefully you will find it if you really want it. You might be really lucky and find it at the garden center. If not, try the orchid nurseries because it's a pretty uncommon orchid to find. Okay, thank you guys for joining. If you want to see other identification videos, you can subscribe to my channel and stay up to date with my orchids because I will try to identify each one of them as they bloom. If they're not identifiable, um, I'm still going to show them to you and talk about them. But yeah, not everybody has a name, unfortunately. So, okay, thank you for joining. If you want to see other videos, as I told you, subscribe to my channel and you can leave me any questions or qu uh, suggestions in a comment section and I might do a video about it. Okay, I'll see you next time. Bye!